Applying the voxel based registration at the mandible best fit is the first step after the approximation of the scans, either with transforms or landmark registration and the construction of the mandible segmentation. The next step would be to create the segmentation of missing areas and construction of color maps. Load the T1 and T2 scans. T1 and T2 mandible segmentations and select the option Centered for each of the files. You can compare the superimposition of T1 and T2 by clicking the tiny little pin icon, then clicking the rings, and then finally the double caret option. Select T1 and T2 scans and move the crossfade bar up and down to change the transparency between both scans. To start the voxel based registration, go to Modules, then search for CMF Registration, then search for Voxel Base Registration, and finally Growing Registration or Non Growing Registration, depending how old the patient is. At the Baseline scan fixed. Select the T1 scan and at the baseline segmentation fixed, select the T1 mandible segmentation. At the follow up scan moving, select the T2 scan and at the follow up segmentation moving, select the T2 mandible segmentation. The voxel based registration options. Are different ways of scale deformation. The first option, rigid plus scale 7 DOF, is what is regularly used, but if for some reason the registration fails with this, use one of the other ones to attempt to fix it. The next step is registration matrix. Select the create new linear transform and move to the next option which is input segmentation to be registered. At this option, select the T2 mandible segmentation. At output registered scan and output registered segmentation, select the option create new volume for both. Next, hit the run button. This may take a while to complete. Here, we speed it up quite a bit. You can check the results by comparing the T1 scan with the output registered scan by clicking the tiny pin icon, then selecting the rings and clicking the double back caret option if it hasn't been selected yet. Then select the scans. Move the crossfade bar up and down to change the transparency. Don't forget to save the files by clicking the Save button on the left upper corner. Save the Output Registered Scan, Output Registered Segmentation, and Registration Matrix. Change the names if needed, the file formats, and directories.